All right, Yelani, so we got another problem. This one's another manometer. We got a closed cylindrical tank filled with water, has a hemispherical dome, and it's connected to an inverted piping system. Liquid at the top of the piping system has a specific gravity of 0 0.8. Remaining parts of the system are filled with water. If the pressure gauge reading at A is 60 kilopascals, A determine the pressure in pipe B, and B, the pressure head in millimeters of mercury at the top of the dome, point C. All right, so first step, like always, just uh, identify your knowns. Let's go here. Right, we're dealing with, we know we got water right here. So let me get another pencil. We got water, that's specific weight. We are dealing with meters. Kilopascal, so that's going to be 98.10 Newton per meter cubed. We got specific gravity, right? I think it said, yeah. Specific gravity right here. And that is equal, let's put specific gravity of fluid, is equal to 0 0.8. So to get the specific weight of the fluid, we just pretty much multiply this times this you should get 7848 newton per meter cubed and then what else do we know the pressure pressure at a so pressure at a it's kilopascal 60 kilopascals we'll put 60,000 not pascals we'll put newtons per meter squared all right so those are our knowns as of right now um all the units line up, meters, kilopascals, that's cool. Yep, we should be good to go. So first step, let's uh, do the equation. So we want to find the pressure at point B. So same as the other videos, right? We start at point A. We got point A. We're going, so actually, hold on. We don't go down. So we're here. All this is water. So we're up at this point. So now we're going to go from this point all the way to this point right here. So we are actually going down. Well, wow, this four meter is negligible. So we're going down right from this point to this point. That's three meters. We're going down. That is specific weight of fluid, SG. Um, and then we're going down three meters. So it's the fluid, right? gamma fluid times your distance going down and it's a positive now we're going down one more time so that's another positive this time it's water times two meters and now we arrive at point b so let's plug and chug we got sixty thousand plus seven eight four eight right the gamma fluid times three meters plus ninety eight ten the gamma of water times another three two meters two meters is equal to pb cool so if you do the math um you'll pretty much just get i'll let you do the math we'll get pb is equal to 103,164 pascals or newton per meter squared it's up to you let's put pascals so yeah that's part a right there that was pretty straightforward now part b the pressure head so you probably haven't heard it yet but pressure head there is a term in Bernoulli's equation uh the formula for pressure head is um pretty much just this well the pressure head measures the distance the height so it's pretty much just pressure over specific weight of the fluid so what we got to do is pretty much just determine the pressure head here so let's go ahead and do that so let's do a simple um, equation we go from PA point A to point C that's pretty easy right we, we know point A so let's do point A we're going up, radius is three, so it's a negative because we're going up. This is the gamma of 
Yeah, we're dealing with water. Yeah, so it's minus gamma water times three meters. And that makes us get to point C. So cool, that's pretty much it. It's just a simple, simple formula right here. We know PA, that's 60,000, right? I'm a 60,000 minus 98, 10 times three, and that's equal to PC. So our PC, if you do the math right there, that's gonna be PC is equal to the point pressure at point C. That is 30,570 Pascals. So this is what we're at right now. Um, let me move that up a little bit more. Let me cloud this because we're gonna need it in a bit. So it's asking for the pressure head in millimeters of mercury at the top of the dome right here, point C. So we got the pressure, we're looking for H. And now for the step and final step should be <clears throat> the formula itself. So we're looking for H and it's the pressure. Um, which is point C, 30,570. Um, this is Newton per meter squared or Pascal, same thing. And you divide it by the specific weight of mercury. And if you look in the book, um, that value is 133416 meters cubed, Newton per meter cubed. And that's going to give you a value of H is equal to 0 0.23 meters or in millimeters, 230 millimeters. So, yeah, that's the answer right there. Um, I wouldn't worry about memorizing these numbers, the specific weight of mercury. If it's on an exam, he'll, he'll give you the, the values, all that good stuff. So... Um, this one was pretty straightforward. Um, the reason I covered this one is just because uh, this isn't something you see in these types of problems. But hopefully that makes sense.